We're at 105 kilos, the guys are getting big, but the classes are getting smaller, so that's less work for me, thank goodness. First up, Danny Strobel from South Africa, 2023. Nationals first place on the left, third place on the right, uh, and the previous year he was third on left and right. And at the South African East vs Quest qualifiers this year, he actually joined the plus 109 kilos, the open class, uh, and he got third on left and right. So I'm assuming he's cutting down if he competed at above 109 and now he's competing at 105. Um, but actually the best accolade I could find from Danny was um, a 11th place finish at the 100 kilo category at the 2010 WAF. So that was like out of maybe 30 people or so at WAF. I think that's pretty respectable, which is why I think um, at least for his uh, right hand, I'm going to put him in a god tier threat. Uh, for the left, it does seem that it might not be as good, but he did get first place left. So I'm still going to put him at a respectable, like high dragon-ish tier. Uh, next up, we have his teammate Ludwig Schnettler from South Africa. So 2023 Nationals, he was second on the left, so behind Danny, but first place on the right. So his right's definitely gonna be above Danny. Um, at the, the East vs West qualifiers, he was in the below 109 kilo category, came in third on left and right. So uh, seems to be a fairly okay level guy, got medals before, uh, but because of the comparison between his teammate, I think uh, since he came in first on the right, should be above Danny um, on the right. And uh, on the left, he came in second, um, probably slightly below, maybe a mid-dragon to a, like, yeah, just slightly below in mid-dragon. I think that's appropriate. Um, after that, we have Christos Papadopoulos from Greece. So he is actually a, a junior competitor. He was 2022 European open weight um, second place on the left, first place on the right, and then this year at the Europeans, he was champion on both arms in the under 18 category. Um, so very impressive junior puller. Um, at the Worlds last year, he was fourth on the left and second on the right in under 18 open category. Uh, but I have to emphasize, this is a junior puller. I have not seen him pull in seniors on an international level before. So just because of that even though he is like a, a current european champ still not gonna place him in the god tier but definitely for both arms i think he is deserving of a high dragon tier um we'll see if he proves me wrong um i know that there are strong juniors out there competing on the senior level but i just haven't seen the evidence to back him up yet um, after that, oh, we have Dimitri Kachan. Most of you should know this name from USA 2023 Nationals. First place on the right. Couldn't find his placing on the left, but I have been told that his left is very solid as well. Um, currently rank 8th on the right hand in the 105 kilo class. And uh, Dimitri Kachan, well, after his match with John Brazang, I think that really put him on the map. Super strong for the right hand, at least. He's definitely deserving of a high god level. On the left, not as much information, but from what I've been told, it is still a godly level. But since there isn't much information, just going to put him as a low god for now. Um, we'll see what happens exactly at the competition. After him, we have Adrian O'Dwyer, also a relatively big name from Ireland. Multiple time British and Irish champion, uh, 2023 Europeans. Um, third place on the left and second place on the right. Um, at 2022 Worlds, he was uh, only competing on the right hand. He got seventh, so a little bit iffy that year, but at Europeans, he definitely showed. And from the, his British accomplishments, I think Adrian O'Dwyer, um, definitely at least on the right hand, deserving of a god tier, maybe a mid god. Um, I don't think his left is probably on the same level. Um, so just gonna put him at maybe a, a mid dragon ish level just because we haven't had that much information about his left hand yet. Um, after him, we have Vin Hong Duc from Vietnam. He is a friend of mine, reigning Vietnam overall champion on both arms. It was 2020 Asians under 21 um, open weight champion. Um, so this year is his first year competing in the seniors at the international level, but he's been competing in seniors for years now in Japan. Untouchable, basically. 
super strong guy and I think he would have had a medal placing last year at Asians should he have chosen to join the seniors but um based on my personal experience with him and seeing him beat people that I know are strong I think Vin definitely at least a low to mid god for both arms I'm just gonna put him at a mid god level uh, um, for both arms and uh, we'll see if he lives up to my expectations um, Next up, it's the first person that I don't really have any info on, uh, Anita Gowala from India. Tried searching on Facebook, Instagram, Indian websites, nothing. So I can only sadly put this person, uh, Anita, as a low demon. Sorry. Um, if you do happen to watch this video and you have evidence to back up your case, please let me know and I'll put it in the comments. But for now, low demon it is. Um, next up, Ahmad Mazahim. Um, so he was the 2023 Malaysian national second on the left and right for 105 kilos uh, But knowing personally that the level in that class wasn't very high uh, and the people that he's beaten Aren't really that high caliber as well. And I've seen him lose to people that I know aren't as at a high level um, I can only sadly put Mazahim only in the demon class maybe a mid demon just to be above the person that had i had no information on next up we have ali afria from malaysia um, ali used to be from uh, syria now based in malaysia um he was 2022 asians first place on the left hand uh, many time medalist in malaysia um left hand i think he's definitely stronger than his right so i'm gonna be placing his left hand uh, higher than his right um, I think since he had a gold medal placing should be deserving of at least a high dragon on the left um, But I know that Ali is not really a natural um, 105 kilo guy. He usually walks around lean probably in the 80 to 90 kilo range So uh, right hand just gonna put him as um, maybe high demon threat left hand mid to high dragon I think is appropriate for Ali and uh, next up uh, Singapore teammate Matthew Wong, uh, he was 2022 as uh, Singapore Nationals first on the left and right in the super heavyweight category. Um, 2022 Asians, um, under 21, second place on the right hand, so losing out to Vin Hong Duke that we saw earlier. But um, knowing him personally and knowing the, the level that he's at, also can't really put him higher than the demon class. Probably a mid demon threat for Matthew, unfortunately. Um, not really a 105 kilo level guy right now. Um, after him, also uh, only competing on the right hand, Erwin Anwar from Malaysia. I've met Erwin before, really nice guy, strongman competitor as well. Um, at 2023 Nationals in Malaysia, he was third place on the right. And um, similar to Matthew, don't think he's actually a 105 kilo level polar. Um, he's lost people way lighter than him before. Um, and as such, for him, I don't think, um, I, I think he should be on the same tier as Matthew um, that we saw before. And also my mistake, just going to take out Matthew. I remember that he is not competing in, um, in the left hand, so only on the right hand. And that brings us to our final competitor, Wayu Rudinita Sambiring from Indonesia could not find anything about this guy other than his Instagram page which is private asked around some friends from Indonesia they told me he's a novice um, not very experienced no videos and just a fuzzy picture that I could find off of his Instagram profile page um, unfortunately also gonna be in the same tier as the Indian competitor I just can't respectably place anyone with no information uh, any tier higher than this and that guys brings us to the end of the 105 kilo class very fast compared to the last couple of classes but still amazing competitors we have you know guys like dimitri kachan we have adrian o'dwyer i expect the finals are going to be pretty exciting at least the top three top four pl placings are going to be pretty exciting can't wait see you guys in the next video